Five, four, three, two, one. Hello humans, this is Retro Rocketman, back again with another video, it's been a little while. Today I'm going to be having a go at redoing this foam rock that I made. It's been painted but it's not quite good enough. And what I used was a can of foam fill, used for filling in gaps and stuff like that. You simply just shake it up and spray it till it makes a little foam ball, and once it's cured, this is what you end up with. So I'm going to pull out my Rambo knife and I'm going to take the, uh, the top off it. It's just a little bit too round. So I'm just going to carve off some of this excess foam just to flatten it out a bit. Being very careful, I don't want to cut myself. And for the finer details, I'll just use a smaller knife. It's a little bit tough because it's been sitting around for a while, so it gets even harder. And just taking my smaller knife, I'm just going to trim off some smaller areas. Just fine tuning. And also carve in a few more irregularities, so it looks a little bit more uh, random, just to give it more texture and interest. Just making it up as I go along until I get it to a point that I think is ready for the next stage. Now the next stage is using some PVA glue mixed with a bit of water just to thin it down a bit because it can be quite thick. I'm going to apply the old good old toilet paper method. So mixing a bit of water into the glue just to thin it out a bit so it's even more absorbent than taking my trusty toilet paper. I'm just going to tear off random pieces and liberally stick it to the surface of the rock. So just prepare a bit of glue on the surface and then saturate your toilet paper until it soaks right through. Be careful not to rip it up too much because obviously with the water in it it's going to want to tear. I find it easier to work it in the direction of the grain as opposed to across. And we're just going to wallpaper or plaster this whole surface of the rock with the toilet paper. This will cover the surface of the foam and minimize all the little holes that are in it and then just taking my brush while it's still wet I'm stippling the surface of the toilet paper removing that texture the wavy line texture that I had in the paper you could do this with other printed toilet papers 
like flowers or whatever the design might be if you want to not have that come through in your, in your final result. Just by stippling the surface, I'm just squashing out that pattern, making it more uniform. And this is going to give the rock surface a totally different texture. Once all that's dry, now I'm just going to prime the surface with a, a flat grey primer. This is going to give me a good idea on the overall effect. So there's our rock, and now I'm going to use some liquid shoe polish. This particular colour is white. And I'm going to dry brush the surface of my newly coated rock with the white. I'm just going to take off some of the excess on the brush so I don't want to go too heavy. And just lightly hit those high edges and, and ridge lines in the rock just to bring them out create a a nice contrast and this will make it look even more rock like this gives the illusion of random weathering and it brings out all those cracks and crevices and all that lovely detail Now I'm just hitting random edges with a bit more of a heavier concentration of the shoe polish just to give it another level of contrast and detail and depth where these certain raised edges might look like it's even copped more exposure to the elements. Just gives it much more interest. Looks like the, the elements, wind, rain, sun, sand have all weathered this rock just gives it a much higher level of realism. So there you go, fellow humans, just making ordinary foam look like something much more displayable. You can put just about anything on, on this rock as a base to display your action figures, anything you can think of really. It just brings everything to a new level.
this is retro rocket man thanks for watching and uh see you in the next one over and out